Hey, good morning, everybody. It is Monday, April 20th, 2020. Hey, I'm Paul Apollonia. Hope everybody is doing well today. Uh, I'm going to show you what I uh, sold for last week on eBay. And I sold one item on Amazon this week. Ooh. <laughs> Dates are going to be from uh, April 13th to April 19th. 2020. Like I said, hey, I hope everybody is well. I know we're going through some craziness right now with all this virus stuff and all this being told to stay inside and everything. And I don't know what's going on in your life. I really hope everything is going well. Things are well here. Thankfully, my wife is able to work from home and I'm able to do my online stuff and all my other stuff is basically shut down, but the online stuff is actually doing okay. Excuse me, I just want to make sure you guys are okay, and please, my one bit of advice is just come out of this better than when you went into it. Like I said, I don't know what's going on in your life, I'm not telling you what to do, just pick something in your life and make it better than what it was when you went into it. It could be your business, it could be your relationships, whatever, money, whatever, learning how to be cheap. I figured that out years ago, but uh, just come out of this better than you went into it in some way, some fashion in your life. Okay, well, let's get on to why I'm doing this video. <laughs> uh, this is my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to it if you like what you um, see here. A lot of uh, videos just like this and parting out of things and just other things of being frugal videos I put up there. Uh, I've been selling on eBay since about 2006. Didn't take it seriously until around 2008. I was involved in another business that tanked with the economy of 2008. So I got into eBay and started doing consignment through a friend of mine and then still doing consignment today, which I love. Consignment is not for everyone. You need to um, pick and choose your clients very, very wisely. And if you have good clients, you'll have a good consignment business. Um, I also do a lot of parting out of things. Most of the stuff I get is for free. I get them on ven from venues like Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace and other online venues. I go pick up the items and I park them out in my garage. You need room to part out things. The thing about parting out is you are just taking things apart. You're not putting them back together again, which is really cool. Um, and I also do a lot of training. Uh, been doing more Zoom training. Uh, lately, obviously, with the situation we're in, but I do a lot of personal training, one-on-one, -on -one, small group, large group run a course through um, Wake County uh, school system at night. And I do some trainings at the community colleges through North Carolina. And I also run the eBay meetup group and we're doing a zoom virtual meetings now. And I actually, I went into a kicking and screaming and I sort of like it because it's a lot easier to bring in a guest through a zoom than trying to bring a monitor and uh, electrical cords and everything to a Panera and stuff like that. All right, so let's get this show on the road. I've occupied enough of your time already telling me about me and how I want you guys just to be better than what you were before this. Let me lower this. You've seen enough of my ugly mug. Okay, uh, I sold a lot of items this week. This is just a selection of items I sold uh, last week, I'm sorry. And uh, a lot of them are low dollar items. Remember, I get my stuff for almost nothing or I'm doing consignment. So, um, it, I don't really have to worry about the margins and stuff, but that's just the way I run my business. I sell a lot of low dollar stuff. A lot of people don't mess with that stuff. The way I look at it is if it's an easy, uh, quick list, quick ship, I'll sell it for a couple bucks. I have no problem doing that. Okay, now I just said I get my stuff free and I, well, I normally say I don't go to thrift stores, but sometimes I do go to thrift stores. <laughs> There's one right next to the gym I used to go to before all this, but that's fine. I understand why they closed. And I go in there and I immediately look in the electronics section, looking for phones like this, phone sets, excuse me, um, and other uh, stereo receivers, VCRs, uh, DVD players, speakers, uh, appliances I can part out, anything electronic that I know of. And these, uh, these uh Phone systems sell okay. I usually get them for about 2 or $3. The one thrift store I go to, they actually test things, and they've been pretty good with testing. When it says tested, it usually works, and I really don't test it. I just take a gamble on it. Excuse me, and I haven't had a problem with it. This one said untested, so I listed it as parts not working, 
and I made it like it was mine and I took it out of service when it really wasn't mine. But, um, and I paid two or three dollars for this. I can't remember with free shipping. I normally don't do free shipping, but I've been gearing my business more to what is selling are the free shipping items selling or are the paid shipping and a lot of times it is free shipping free shipping does give you a better boost in search on ebay just make sure you add a little bit more to your item to cover shipping this went out priority mail i think it went up to new jersey i can't remember right now i've sold so much stuff this week i'm like blurry on what i sold um, and I probably made $19 on this. So it was a $3 item on the shelf. Oh, it's in a bag. Okay. I, I opened up a little bit. Okay. That'll sell. Put it in my, put it in my buggy and, uh, bought it and came home and listed it and it sold it in about two weeks. Uh, went up priority mail. Like I said, I think it didn't go into a flat rate box, went into a, a regular box I had. Let me quickly go over a listing that I do. Uh, the title is basically, I don't worry about grammar or anything like that. I worry about searchability um, and I uh, steal a lot from uh, listings that have sold, borrow, I guess not steal, and I try and change a little bit of it so it's mine. So you're not worried about grammar or, uh, you know, wows or looks or I don't even put antique or vintage in my um, title. Those are all searchable on eBay and Google. Put your condition down, whatever you think it is. This was missing something. See, I always say, why am I selling this as parts for parts or not working? Worked well. Here, we'll go down here and scroll. It worked well. Been out of service for a while. <laughs> Battery needs to be replaced, which is true. Back cover is missing. And I even took a picture of the back cover. I know I'm being scattered here with these, with this. But just bear with me. There's it with the power on. See the power. I always, when I sell something electronic um, and electronic, I always try and do picture it with the power on. Boy, take a picture with it with the power on. Need more coffee this morning. And there is that. That's a nice blurry picture, I know. There is the one with the cover missing, so people know that it has a cover missing. I think I even referenced the photo in my listing here. Been out of service, back cover missing from one of the headsets. No, I did not refer to the photo. So put your condition there, whatever you think it is. This, I wasn't sure if it was working or not, and it actually... It's not complete because the cover is missing, so it would probably fall under parts not working in my book. Um, whenever I do a, uh, when I'm selling something other than new, I always use a condition description so people can see it right off the top when they're looking at the listing and it also protects you via eBay if there's any other problems. Um, there's that. Always use your item specifics. Um, always remember when you're setting up your item specifics, you'll see drop down menus. Try and use one of those. That is in the drop-down menu. Millions of people have searched on those. That is why they are there. You can create your own. I do it all the time, like right here. I put that in there, and I put something else in here. Oh, a number of headsets, too. I put that item specific. You, you can put your own in there, but try and stick to what's already there. And if you need more, then put your own. But what, what is there is what eBay has already went out and went, oh, gosh, people are searching for this stuff. Don't forget to put uh, these in there. My description is basically the same thing that is up here. I copy and paste it down here. I try and be real short in my descriptions because people buy off of pictures anymore. Like it or not, that's what they do. Shipping, I do global shipping, which means I ship internationally, but I ship through uh, eBay's global shipping program, GSP, you'll hear it called. It's a program where if I ship it to another country, all I have to worry about is shipping it to Kentucky. eBay has a location there where they take in all the items going abroad and they take them. And as long, all you have to do is get it to Kentucky, make sure you're packing it properly and shipping it properly. They may open it up. They most likely will open up to make sure the item is there. Um, I have had no problems with global shipping. I know some people that have had problems with global shipping. The one cool thing about global shipping is once eBay gets it and you get a message, I think you get an email or is it a message in eBay? I can't remember. Once they say they have it, you are out of the picture. It can get lost, stolen, broken, and eBay picks up the cost. 
Now I know I know people that have been screwed by that, but I have not. But I like it. I know some people don't like global shipping because they believe it charges too much taxes for the buyer. I don't know. I've sat down with people. I can sort of agree with that, but it's so much easier. All you have to do is just get to the Kentucky and it's done. So I will take the sales from it and the lost sales from it. It's just a lot easier for me to do. Shipping, I pick economy shipping 99.9% .9 of the time, unless it's going out first class. Economy shipping gives me the ability to use any of the shipping options in eBay. Now, they're going to see, um, the buyer is going to see, ooh, five to 10 days shipping. Okay, I might be scaring away some buyers, and I really should have another shipping option in there, like priority. But um, I ship my stuff, again, 99% goes out, priority mail, and they get it within days. I get, eat, uh, I get feedbacks all the time, blazing fast shipping because people are expecting it to arrive five to 10 days. Am I losing sales from having economy shipping? Probably, but it gives me the flexibility to pick any of the uh, post office options, FedEx, um, flat rate, <laughs> boy, I need more coffee, flat rate, um, priority boxes, my own box, FedEx, FedEx Smart Post, which is a collaboration between post office and FedEx. Uh, look into that. There's no insurance with Smart Post. I do use it a lot. Knock on wood, I haven't had a problem with it. Um, it's used for larger items. I've been uh, real lucky with that. I've actually, a uh, little side note before let's go to the next item. I had a FedEx claim put in. I've sold a VCR and it got to the guy and the buttons were all smashed in. And uh, that was a week and a half ago. I put the claim in. The pictures never even uh, got loaded, I don't think, onto the claim. I don't know what happened. It said your picture didn't load up. And I received my check for $39.99 through FedEx. FedEx has been incredibly good with claims. At least with me, they have been. Every claim I put in, I've gotten money back, which is great. Because that darn VCR was in working condition. It was a forehead VCR. It was really nice. Uh, whatever stuff happens. If you've watched my videos before, you know I sell a lot of these fan blades. For those that don't know, I get these for nothing from the thrift store. When I get gas, I walk across the street and there's a shopping cart. Well, not now. The thrift store is closed, which brings up another great opportunity for you guys. A lot of people have stuff in their homes that they were going to take to the thrift store that they have no way of getting there because the thrift store is closed. This is a perfect opportunity for you to get free stuff from people that can't get this stuff to the thrift store. So I go to the... Uh, I get my gas, walk across the street, I see these fan blades. I just grab any fan blade I see in there. I have sold four or five sets this or last week alone. I make an average of about 13 to 14, about 12 to 14 dollars on each set. All as I do is hang on. I put the fan blades all together. I put some brown paper around them or bubble wrap, and I shove them into a poly envelope one end. And then I put on the poly envelope over the top of it. And then I tape them together. And I ship them out. They usually go priority. They're about 21 inches long by 6 by 2 or 3 inches high. And it ships out at about $8, $9. I even shipped one down to Puerto Rico. Um, I think it cost me $12. But then again, I get this stuff for nothing. I'm making $12 for nothing. Just literally going across the street, picking them up. One key thing here is I learn. Years ago, when I was looking at fan blades to sell on eBay, because I saw this guy that had this template at the very end of his listing. A lot neater than mine, but mine got the job done. These are your holes for the fan blades to mount to the arms of the fan. Um, and here it is. There is B, and there is A. Now, I have the measurements everywhere and anywhere in the listing. I have them in the condition description. I have them in the item specifics. I have them in the uh, description of the item. I've only had one problem with measurements and it was actually a woman and she said, don't even worry about it. It was my fault. I should have looked at the measurements closer. The trickiest part with the measurements is getting your camera angled right <laughs> to take the measurement. Like for example, to take this measurement here, I had to move my camera over, over. Okay, there's two inches right there. It is two inches, but if I had it where I thought it was right, it was coming out at two and a quarter. So just make sure you've got your camera angled right. There is money in this stuff. Parts, there is tons of money in parts, especially now. People are sitting around. Hubbies are doing their to-do lists. Their wives are telling them what to do. 
Let's go to the next item. Uh, I have sold a ton of these the last few weeks. These are air filter covers. I tried selling these a couple years ago and could not sell them. Then I put them somewhere in the garage and I forgot about them. Found them again a couple weeks ago. I listed these in another style and I'm listed five of these. I thought there's some more of these. Um, and I've sold three so far and I have another style that I sell the minute I list them, they sell the same day. Um, I don't make a whole lot of money on these, free shipping. I probably make about three or four bucks on these, but all I'm doing is I'm taking that air filter, putting them in, in, a, in a poly envelope that I get for like 23 cents a piece. I'm sure there's cheaper options if I buy more of them, but I think 100 is enough right now. Put them in this envelope. They go out at about two ounces. Now, I could put, and I pay about two something for that, but I want it going through eBay. I've sent it out first class. I want to go into eBay because a tracking number is uploaded to eBay. It protects me, protects the buyer, and it gives me credit on eBay for a top-rated seller. I could put stamps on here. I think one stamp is one ounce, so I'd put like two or three stamps on here and send it out with a stamp on it. But then there's no tracking number. There's no nothing. And right now, the post office is having a heck of a time getting items to people. Sometimes I'll see things that say they're scanned and they're at the person's house and they're not. And um, I'll get um, messages through eBay from buyers saying, where's my item? It says it's here. It's not here. And I'm like, please just hang on. The post office is a little slow. And they are. And I only had to refund one person. And it was only a $7 item. And I got it for nothing. So I just let that go. But um, things are a little slow with the post office while we're in this crisis situation. So that's one. Like I said, I didn't make a whole lot of money on that. But I got it for nothing took me a minute or two to list it. Now, this picture is whited out in the back. This is using eBay's um, option to white out the first picture on your phone. They have it. It works much better if you have an Apple product. The iOS uh, software works a lot better than the Android. I have an Android phone, a Samsung 10 or whatever it is. I don't know what it is. Um, so this is the whited out picture, and this is my picture. See, on, this, on the Android one, I think it's sort of messes it up a little bit but that's just me i'm not a big fan of whiting out stuff but so you can see it better at least i think you can of course i should have trimmed that more but i didn't so i tried you know i try my best to take all different angles of the of the item so people know and when i'm selling multiples i always here i'll bring it down here i always put this disclaimer in i'm selling multiples of this item the one you get may not look like the one in a photo but it will function the same way it may have you know different labels and Dirt, no dirt, cleaner, whatever. Got lots of items here. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Um, another uh, recoil starter. This is a thing on top of the mower that you pull to start the mower, pressure washer, generator, whatever. Um, again, I tried to sell these a couple of years ago and couldn't sell any of them. I don't know why. I listed this and a ton of other ones, and I've sold out of all the other ones of about 15. And I think this was, oh no, this was not my, this may have been the last one. Yeah, this was the last one I had of these. I had three of these. Am I making a ton of money on these? No, I'm making about $14, $15 each on these. They go into a uh, six by 12 by six box, I think, or or I just use the standard uh, 12 by 12 uh, priority box and put it in there. And it usually ships out at about seven bucks, six bucks. All depends where it's going. Like I said, am I making a ton of money? No, but it's easy money for me. I've got it for nothing. Easy ship. I don't use any packing paper. I just put it in a box and I use my box sizer tool, trim down the box, and um, off it goes. A vacuum cleaner part. Now, you can see a lot of these Dyson parts. I um, thought I had these listed, but I did not. And I uh, spent uh, two weeks ago, I spent maybe about an hour or two listing all the Dyson parts. Most of them are going for not a whole lot of money, but uh, hey, I will take it. Again, I tried, um, everybody was charging for shipping for this item, so I did shipping, sold this in about a week, made about uh, 10, uh, 9 dollars I think I made on this item. I forget where it went. It went first class. Um, so I made a little bit money on shipping, made about a buck on shipping. Again, I love these envelopes. Went in this thing, sealed it up, 
actually I taped it up too on the sides because it was pretty sharp on, on the ends. I didn't want it poking through the, um, the thing. And when I'm doing parts, I try my best to have the last picture be the label of the vacuum cleaner with the model number on it. This is something my daughter was cleaning out her room last week and she had a big box. Actually, she cleaned her at her room a long time ago and this box was in the hallway forever. And I said, you want anything in this box? She said, nope. I went sweet, went through it, found this, couldn't believe that it went for $34.99. Actually, it went for $39.99. I marked mine down a little bit because I just wanted to get rid of it. And let me show you, this is some kind of night vision thing. And whenever I, with like electronics and everything else, whenever I, um, this was taken just on a white Dollar Tree board in front of my house on my driveway. Now, let me show you what I did here since it's like a binocular type thing. Notice it is off. And I have, it's unfocused there, obviously. This is all on my phone. So, you see that. Then that's looking in, looking at that shelf. That's unfocused. That's one mode. I don't know all these modes. Then there's a green mode. I guess that's for night vision. I don't know. Then there's that mode. I don't know what that mode's for either. And I always, always, always take a picture of the battery compartment. If there's damage from acid, I try my best to clean it out using vinegar or baking soda. But I always take a picture of the battery compartment showing that it's clean. Now, this spring was a little bent. I should have said something about that, but I forgot. But this sold within, um, gosh, 10 hours. And I also stated that the screw was missing for the battery compartment. We'll just go down here. Right at the very beginning, missing screw, refer to photo 12, and that was the last photo. So I did very well on this. I probably made about $33, $32 on this. It went down to Florida, went into a uh, uh, post office flat rate A box for $7.25, I think it was. Another Dyson vacuum cleaner part. Oh, that's a mouthful. Not making a whole lot of money on this. Went out free shipping. I shipped this in one of these eBay poly envelopes. Folded it. Oh, no, 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 I didn't. I'm sorry. I shipped it in one of these again. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Uh, didn't make a whole lot of money. I was probably made about seven bucks on this. But again, it was a quick, quick list and a quick drop it in there, weigh it, and it was gone. Uh, manuals. I'm selling a ton of auto parts from Japanese cars from the 80s and early 90s, even from the 70s for a shop that shut down. Um, I love consignment. I got all this stuff for nothing. All I do is a 50-50 split. So on this one, I sold it for $29.99. So I get half of that and the fees come out of the buyer's end. Sometimes I split them 50-50. All depends what how many items we have. Um, I haven't decided what to do here with these. I've got tons of stuff. The manuals are selling. Um, I probably should list them on Amazon too. I'm thinking about listing a few of them on Amazon. I know sometimes this stuff sells better on Amazon. But I'm not going to do a fulfilled by Amazon, which means I send it in to Amazon. I'm going to do a merchant fulfilled, which means I <clears throat> I keep it here in my house. And when I sell it, I ship it out myself because Amazon is a little crazy right now with the warehouse situation. But the um, person was happy. They got it blazing fast, even went out media mail because it is a book. You can ship books out media mail. You cannot ship games out like video games out media mail. Could try and get away with it, but I wouldn't even mess with it because they open it up and find it. Then they're going to find you and they're going to get mad at you. But um, well worn, really. It wasn't well worn, but I made sure I took pictures of all the edges because there is grease marks on it. And sometimes I even take a picture of the book opened up like this one. I listed a few of them yesterday and I didn't take the pictures of the books opened up. I just didn't feel like doing it, to be honest with you. So I made, you know, twelve ninety nine on this quick list, quick ship, went right into one of these envelopes, the poly envelope. I think I put cardboard around it. I can't remember. I know I wrapped it in uh, in food wrap. So it got wet. Uh, this was another Dyson part. Free shipping went out um, in one of... Wow, I got all this stuff right handy today. This is so cool. Went out in one of these. A padded flight rate envelope to the post office. Goes for seven thirty five. I think. I forget. Anything, if it fits, it ships. I ship the uh, parts of jackets in these things. You can jam it in there. 
why I shipped it this way, because I think it went out to California, and this was one of my blazing fast feedbacks. Oh, no, it went out to Midwest somewhere. Guy sent me a feedback. Three days later, said blazing fast feedback. Was not expecting it to get it this fast. Well, there you go. It's because I ship it out priority, but people don't know that. Um, it took a little while to get the cord out. Dyson's are a little pain in the neck to, to, to disassemble. I did a video on it last week on Dyson's. You have to have a, Torx, a few Torx wrenches and some other little special tools. And they're built real well, but there's a lot of money in the parts. A Electrolux vacuum cleaner. I went to go get this vacuum cleaner on Craigslist, and it was the guy was trying to pull one over on me. I got there, and he's showing me this other vacuum cleaner, and I'm going, oh, well, they said it was for free. So this is for free. So I said, okay. So I try and grab it from him. He goes, oh, no, 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 no. This one's 150 bucks. I went, well, where's the free one at? Oh, that one's in the trash can. So I went, <laughs> I said, okay, we're in that trash can. So I, went, I took all this trash out. <laughs> I pulled the vacuum cleaner out and I put all this trash back in and threw it in the car and left. So <laughs> got it for nothing, you know, made 30 bucks. Hey, that's pretty good. It wasn't that, that far away, maybe about a mile or two away. Um, went right into a, a little box I had. And I get all my boxes for free from dumpster grabbing. And people giving me boxes. I got my packing material for free from dumpster grabbing from furniture stores. And people give me packing material. So it didn't cost me anything to really ship it. I just remembered I did not take that little label off. But it's fine. I'm sure the guy took it off. Um, so there you go. There is money in, on, like I said, in free stuff. I was, I was planning on selling the rest of the vacuum cleaner parts. But they were sort of broken up and everything. So I just pulled the motor out. Uh, I had these in my garage for years and years and years. I had them listed years ago. I was going to throw them away the other day when I was cleaning out the garage a little bit. And I thought, wait a minute, let me just see what these are going for. They're going for $14.99 free shipping. Now they went out first class. They weigh about five ounces or six ounces. And again, to ship them out, I put one end in here, put another poly bag over it and taped it, folded it over. So it's like a tube and taped it up like a tube. Put the label on there, went out first class. I made probably seven fifty on it. You know what? That's good for me. I know people disagree with that. They'll go after the small sales. It was in my garage. It was free. It took me a few minutes to list it, if that, and uh, maybe a minute to ship it out. Maybe two minutes to ship it out. That that's fine for me. I'm happy. It works for me. Everybody runs their business differently. Oh, this is awesome. So I had this phone in a drawer forever. And I can't remember what was wrong with it. And it actually, then I charged it up and it sat on my desk forever. Maybe a couple of months. I'm asking the family, do you remember what's wrong with this phone? Do you remember what's wrong with this phone? My wife's going, is that the one that, that took a bath? Wait, no, is that the one that just got slow and I replaced it? Kids are going, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So I listed it as parts not working. I'm selling this parcel because I found here very, see, I'm super honest on my listings. Found it in a drawer. I can't remember if there is anything wrong with it. I asked the family. We think someone upgraded the phone. was getting slow. I don't, I don't know. Pulled all this information from the um, product information at the very top of your listing. It'll say find an item. You want to try and select that when you're doing electronics because it'll pull in a lot of your item specifics. So I listed this at 1030 at night on Friday. Thursday night or Friday night? Thursday night, I can't remember. Sold within five minutes. Did I price it a little low? Probably. But they were all going for about the same price under the parts not working category. So um, I was happy with that. Went out first class, but I insured it. So it cost me like $4.50 to ship it out. I think I went down to Florida again. Um, when I'm doing something like electronics like this, I try my best to take as many pictures as I can. I even stated in the listing, the specs are dirt. They're not marks on the screen. No cracks on the screen. The backs, there's the information. There's it coming up. It's blurry because of my camera taking the picture. It's coming on, coming on, horizon. There is a screen, nice and bright. There's some information that people like to see, and there is just a, uh, why I did this screen is because I wanted to show if there was any screen burn. Sometimes you'll see burn from the icons, and believe it or not, there was hardly no screen burn. I'm thinking this is the one that took the bath because my wife 
did have this phone just for a little while, and she dropped it in water. Uh, another Dyson vacuum cleaner. I did not make a whole lot of meal on this either. Went out first class. Uh, probably made about seven fifty on this. I actually had to put this dang thing in a box. It wouldn't fit in one of these. It was too big after I wrapped it up in bubble wrap. Um, again, didn't pay anything for the part. So I was happy with that. Quick list, quick ship. Another item that was in the box from my daughter's bedroom. This is what these are going for on eBay. Uh, so I didn't make a whole lot of money on this. Again, I was able to shove it in one of these, pad it on below, which was great. And probably made about five bucks on it. Again, it was battery operated. Every time I ship, show something, sell something battery operated or electric, uh, electron, yeah, electronics, I try and show it with the power on. And again, with the power, with the, um, where's the, uh oh, where's the battery compartment at? There it is. There's a little bit of damage there. And I did my best to clean it out the best I could. Oh, a few more items. I've been going as fast as I can. A El Cheapo item, again, from my daughter's box from her room. Uh, this is what they were going for. I made about six fifty dollars on this. Yes, DS Game Cell. It goes out first class. Cannot go out media mail. People try media mail. I'm not taking a chance. You can save a lot more money using media mail, but I'm not taking a chance. Again, I could have put stamps on this and sent it out that way. I know many sellers that do that, but I like the protection from eBay. And I can track the item if it gets lost. These DVDs I told you about forever ago. I sell about one or two or three or ten a week sometimes. Got these for nothing years ago. Put them in a box. Forgot about them in a garage. Bar. Forget about a lot of stuff lately. Found them around Christmas. Looked at uh, an app called um, Declutter. And they wanted 20 cents a DVD. I went, oh, okay, that's not bad. Then I looked on eBay. And they were going for about 6 or $7. Some of them were going awfully cheap like this one. And I thought, hmm, well, if I can make a buck or two off of these, that'd be fine. Well, in this case, less than a buck. But uh, that, I probably shouldn't have listed this one, to be honest with you. I guess I got carried away. But um, so I got them all together. If, you, if I'm going to do this, I got to do it the fast way. So I listed them all on the phone. I was listing about 40 an hour on the phone. You can list a lot faster on your phone. But you do lose... Um, some of the options that you get on a computer, especially with an Android device, excuse me, an Apple device, you have the same options on your phone that you have on the computer. So I alphabetize them all in a box. And when I sell them, they're right here, right next to me. I look them up and I put them in one of these again. And it goes out, goes out media mail for about four or five ounces. I did not make any money on this, to be honest with you. This was what they call a loss leader sales, what I call it. I think it's important to have low-end sales on eBay. I know you're not making hardly any money on them, but it's bringing sales and activity into your account, into your eBay store, and I think that's really, really important. You want to try and do replenishables. If you want to do a loss leader or a low-profit item, go to Lowe's or Home Depot, look around, see what items are always there on the shelf, not some special thing that's not going to be there. Check them out, see what they're selling for on eBay. Even if, even if you're making a buck or two, grab about 10 of them. You don't need to buy cases of this stuff. And when you're, you know, when you're par level, when your level gets down to about five, go out and get five more or 10 more or whatever. And just keep on replenishing your own stock so you have them at home. I know people that know the exact weight of the item. When they sell it, they'll actually go to Home Depot when they're running around or Lowe's, get the item and have it already pre-labeled in the envelope and seal it and send it off to post office that way. But replenishables and low profit items, I think are very important to bring sales in. I, I, I account my Christmas was tremendous. I didn't even sell really any Christmas stuff, just other stuff because of these low dollar uh, sales. Last item, cigar boxes. I've talked about these before. I get these at the cigar and wine store. My one vice, well, I like to say my one vice is smoking cigars every once in a while. I've been smoking more lately since we're home more. But um, when I'm there, I always look and see if there's any boxes. And there, there usually are boxes. And I always buy a few cigars so I can just grab the boxes. I Some places charge for them. Some places don't. 
Uh, these are sometimes long tail sales, which means you're going to list them and they're going to sit in your store or on eBay for a long time, months, 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 months. I had these individually, but I grouped these four together. I sold these last night, uh, made $21 for something free. So I'm buying my cigars. Okay, thank you. Oh, can I grab a few cigar boxes? Sure. Carry them in my car, put them in my car, bring them home, put them on a... See, again, this is the whited out. This is the whited out picture. Put them on. I get my Dollar Tree, a uh, dollar... Uh, of course, it's a dollar. Get my Dollar Tree poster or project board out. Lay them on project board. Take pictures, all different angles. One open side, all different side views. In good shape. Lot of four. Pretty basic. There's the size of the boxes. What I try and do too is I don't think I did it on this one. Oh no, I put the size in this one. Yeah. Usually, I take a picture of the sizes. So that is about it for last week. Like I said, I hope you guys are doing well. Please stay safe. Stay in if you're older like me. I only make runs to the post office once a day, and I make sure I stay away from people. But um, that's what I do because my carrier sometimes picks up stuff, and I stop messing with that pickup stuff. I just run down there. I'm not that far away, about a mile away from the post office. All right, guys, please be safe. Please like my uh Subscribe to my channel if you like, and please like the video if you found it helpful. You guys have a great day. Until we do this again next week on what I sold on eBay. Oh, that's right. Oops, hang on. <laughs> the one item I sold on Amazon was a book, a uh, Greek version of the Old Testament. I've got a whole ton of books from a friend of mine that's a preacher that has um, moved on. actually took a job with a big place that he's doing his work but he's getting paid good money doing the same work and he had all these books he was moving and he said hey you want these books i'll do consignment and i'm pretty sure he just gave them to me i think i saw him a couple months ago he goes don't even worry about them so i sold that book for 47 dollars. i don't know what all the fees are for amazon and again that is a merchant fulfilled item and i'm going i, I shipped that out the the day i sold it so that is what i sold on amazon didn't sell anything else anywhere else just ebay this week all right guys I think that's it now. Oh, need more coffee. You guys have a great day.